A video of a monk, who was rumored to be 163 years old, went viral a few days ago, leaving people startled. As a result, some Internet users have come to assume that there exists a lady who's 399 years old, which is not the case. Many hypotheses have been hatched since the monk's viral video clip originally appeared on TikTok in the month of January, prompting a flurry of speculation. Here's all you need to know about the lady who many people mistakenly think to be 399 years old, according to yet another scam that's taken across the Internet. After discovering videos and reports claiming to show the presence of a lady who appears to be about 400 years old, Internet users were taken aback by the unbelievable nature of the claims. Despite the fact that this information is untrue and that the individual in the video is the same monk who became an online phenomenon due to his age, the video is still worth seeing. The video footage is making the rounds on the Internet once more, with some claiming that the guy who's watched it is 399 years old, which is untrue. The Internet's love affair with the Buddhist monk, Long Fao Ye, also known as Long Ta, does not appear to be waning anytime soon. Kane Tanaka, according to CNN, is the world's oldest living person and the oldest individual on the planet, 119 years old according to a Twitter message sent by her granddaughter. Kane is still alive and well. On the 1st of January, Junko posted a photo of her great-grandmother, Kane Tanaka, with the caption, Great Achievement! Kane Tanaka has achieved the age of 119. I hope you will continue to live life joyfully and to the maximum extent of your abilities. What is Kane Tanaka's background? Having a nutritious diet for a woman can help her live a long life, and Kana Tanaka, an American citizen who lives in Japan, is an excellent example of this. She's the world's oldest lady still alive. Her record's been extended, and she'll celebrate her 119th birthday on the 3rd of January, 2022. In accordance with several Japanese media sources, Tanaka rang in the new year and celebrated her birthday in a care facility in Fukuoka, Japan. It was only in March 2019 that Tanaka's age was first recorded when she was 116 years old. Takeyoshi Tanaka, who was born in 1903, set a new Japanese record for the number of years she's lived in September 2020 when she turned 117 years and 261 days. When she was photographed holding a peace sign while sipping on a Coke that day, it was particularly memorable. She has an affection for carbonated drinks. Tanaka has lived through five Japanese kingdoms and two world wars, yet she's still going strong. Despite the fact that she was born six months before British author George Orwell, she was born the same year that the Wright brothers achieved powered flight for the first time. Tanaka is the youngest of nine siblings, and she married when she was just 19 years old. In 1937, when her husband and eldest son were fighting in the Second Sino-Japanese War, which began in 1937, she supported her family by managing a noodle shop in the local neighborhood. The number of centenarians in Japan has increased in recent years. The world's oldest man, Jiroman Kimura of Japan, died in 2013 at the age of 116, making him the world's second oldest person. Jean Calment, a French supercentenarian, lived to be 122 years old, making her the world's oldest conformed no person in recorded history. She died in 1997. The Secrets to Living a Long Life, Kana Tanaka wants to keep her mind occupied, so she gets up at 6 a.m. on a regular basis to follow her regimen at work. She enjoys solving number puzzles and studying mathematics in the afternoons, which is something she does on a regular basis. When she was 103 years old, she continued to be an active participant in the operation of the grocery stores owned by her family. Tanaka was, in fact, training to carry the Olympic torch ahead of the Tokyo 2020 Summer Olympics, which had been postponed due to a lack of athletes. Her enthusiasm for fizzy beverages hasn't diminished throughout the years. It's the centenarian's guilty pleasure, according to her great-granddaughter, that includes chocolate and fizzy beverages. Among the factors contributing to Tanaka's long life are her close family, her faith in God, sleeping well, remaining cheerful and hopeful, eating well, and engaging in mathematical practice. She's gotten quite skilled at the traditional board game Othello, as seen by her appearance in the Guinness Book of World Records, and she routinely beats her co-workers at this activity. In spite of the fact that she lives in a nursing facility and hasn't seen her great-granddaughter since December, Kana Tanaka has accepted the measure of social isolation imposed by expanding COVID-19 outbreak. Kana Tanaka is of the Japanese blood and enjoys the benefit of being a citizen of a country with one of the world's highest life expectancy rates, 84.2 years, according to the World Health Organization. As a result of her ancestors' heritage, 
the sense of belonging, inclusion, and care for the elderly that the family and society have helps to keep their stress levels low and the society's cultural diversity rich. The Japanese do not eat until they're completely satisfied. Instead, they eat until they're approximately 80% satisfied. The Japanese diet is mostly comprised of fermented foods, roots, greens, and seafood, among other things. Maintaining a Healthy Lifestyle A large-scale prospective cohort research conducted in the United States over a period of 30 years examined the health habits of approximately 120,000 people. With this information, researchers were able to determine how various lifestyle variables affected longevity, as well as the likelihood of dying from non-communicable diseases such as heart disease and cancer. Suggestions for a Healthier Lifestyle Keeping a healthy body weight is achieved by eating a variety of foods in the appropriate quantities and consuming enough calories to maintain a healthy weight. However, while this will vary depending on the individual, as a general rule, the following should be included. At least five servings of fruits and vegetables should account for one-third of your total daily calorie consumption, according to the USDA. A recent study found that those who meet this criteria have a lower risk of developing certain cancers and cardiac problems. The consumption of fruits and vegetables has been shown to be associated with illness in one meta-analysis, with the risk of death from heart disease decreasing by 8% for every piece of fruit or vegetable consumed daily, up to a maximum of 10 pieces, and the risk of cancer decreasing by 3% for every portion consumed. Fiber and nutrients can be found in plenty of starchy meals, particularly whole grain varieties, which contain more fiber and nutrients than their white counterparts. Several types of cancer, type 2 diabetes and heart disease, have been shown to be reduced in incidence when whole grains are consumed. Whole grains also promote the growth of healthy bacteria in the digestive tract. In addition to being high in lean proteins, which are important for cellular repair, fish, eggs, and white meat are also high in a range of vitamins and minerals. Dietary proteins such as dairy foods and dairy substitutes are a good source of protein since they're high in both protein and calcium. Unsaturated fatty acids are in low supply these days. Physical activity is recommended. There are numerous advantages to engaging in physical activity. According to the World Health Organization, everyone should engage in regular physical activity, which should include at least 30 minutes of moderate aerobic activity per day, supplemented with at least two weight-bearing activity sessions per week, as well as other forms of resistance training. The ability to maintain physical fitness can help prevent illnesses such as cardiovascular disease, some cancers, diabetes, and osteoporosis, as well as serve as a secondary preventive strategy, the worsening of symptoms. Maintaining a Healthy Body Weight Weight management is essential for overall health and can help you avoid a range of disorders. Using the Body Mass Index, BMI, which is a measurement of body fat calculated from a person's height and weight, it's possible to determine whether or not a person's weight is healthy. Typically, a healthy BMI falls between 18.5 and 24.9, whereas a number between 25 and 29.9 indicates obesity and a score of 30 or higher indicates overweight. In addition to altering the hormonal and metabolic profile and raising the physical load on several physiological states and organs, obesity contributes to the development of chronic illnesses. Tobacco use and consumption In terms of tobacco intake or smoking habits, there's no such thing as a safe level of exposure. It follows as a result that never having smoked is associated with the best health outcomes. In the United States, around 8 million individuals die each year as a result of smoking-related diseases, with smoking accounting for more than 70% of all occurrences of lung cancer. Furthermore, it has the potential to induce cancer of the esophagus, mouth, and neck, as well as cancer of the pancreas, stomach, and liver. Cigarette smoking is harmful to the heart and circulatory system, increasing the risk of coronary artery disease, stroke, vascular disease, and myocardial infarction, among other things. Reduced Consumption of Alcoholic Beverages A reasonable quantity of alcohol intake for men is one to two drinks per day, whereas a reasonable amount of alcohol intake for women is one beverage per day. When alcohol consumption reaches levels greater than this, the chance of harmful health repercussions increase significantly. To give an example, excessive consumption can raise blood triglyceride levels, increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke. A number of adverse effects, including high blood pressure, Cardiomyopathy and cardiac arrhythmia are possible. Yoga is a way of life. 
Yoga is a Sanskrit word that literally translates as to connect. Yoga is at its most basic level a technique for bringing our body, mind and spirit into perfect alignment in order to create perfect balance and harmony in your life. A way of life rather than just an exercise program is what it is for many people. Meditation, in addition to a sequence of yoga postures and breathing exercises, is stressed for the purpose of improving mental well-being and enjoyment. Strengthening our bodies, refocusing our brains, and boosting our self-esteem are all possible benefits of yoga. Yogis who practice yoga as a way of life live happier, healthier, and more stress-free lives, as well as lives marked by greater tolerance and inner peace. They have a greater sense of control over their emotions. Because we're all overworked and overscheduled, we have no time to exercise or rest. As a result, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, back and neck discomfort, and other lifestyle disorders are becoming more prevalent. Yoga practice on a regular basis can be incredibly effective in preventing or healing a variety of diseases. As we practice yoga, we become more conscious of our own self and our own inherent potential. Yoga is a 5,000-year-old Indian discipline that's remained relevant and beneficial throughout the centuries. The 21st of June has been proclaimed as International Yoga Day after the recommendation of the Prime Minister in order to enhance global awareness and yoga and its benefits. Let us all strive for true happiness by living a healthy lifestyle and encouraging others to do. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.